Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All, so check this out. <laughs> That's a ponderosa pine right next to the place where we're staying in Wawona, which is right by Yosemite National Park, just a few miles away, so there's our place. Nice place to stay. There's a beautiful river down here. So I'm just gonna walk a little bit, but even though I'm on vacation, I did see that Tesla Roddy posted an article about the IIHS, which is the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, uh, they tested the Tesla Model 3 vision only system. So the Tesla vision version, which is the one that doesn't have the radar. So one of the problems with the, the, the Tesla vision only version is even though the regular Model 3, Model Y, etc., have been given NHTSA's top safety rating, the, the new ones are actually so new that they don't have safety ratings yet. So the IAHS is a very, very strict um they have a super strict rating system and they gave it their top safety pick plus, which is basically their highest rating, which is hugely positive news for Tesla. That's like, <laughs> it's something, it's incredibly important for them to have the safety ratings. So obviously the car itself, like the body and the, um, you know, side impact, front impact, all of that stuff is basically the same as the car with the radar system. So no big deal, right? But the the issue was whether it would do collision avoidance with pedestrians and with other cars. And if I'm remembering correctly from the article, they tested it at both 12 and 25 miles an hour. I will put the link to the article in the description, of course. Uh, but anyway, they tested it at, at both 12 and 25 miles an hour, and it did successfully avoid collisions, which is fantastic. And it also um, was able to, I believe, do better than the version with the radar. And all of the other, you know, <laughs> elements that they tested were of the top safety rating also. So basically, it means that the new versions of the car without the radar are also now rated as highly safe as the old versions with the radar. And there's an indication that the vision only system might actually work better than the radar. So that is absolutely huge news. Um, the other thing that's really important to know is that uh, Elon Musk apparently just tweeted very recently that they're going to raise, I think it was either 70, was it 70 or 75? It may have been only 70, but the vision only systems, the, uh, the Model 3 and the Model Y that were coming out with the vision only system without the radar were only rated to go 70 miles an hour or possibly 75, uh, you, you know, maximum speed. Uh, without, without, you know, without the radar. And now Elon Musk says that they're going to raise that to 80 miles an hour very soon. So both of these things together are very important kind of, I guess, statements <laughs> that basically we're talking about. Tesla is moving forward. They're creating cars without radar. And I know part of the deal that, of course, they had to jump so quickly to the no radar bandwagon wagon was because of the fact that they didn't have chips for the radar systems. And they were very worried about that. But it was also, you know, again, as I did, I did a couple of art of videos. And again, I'll link these up here if you haven't seen them. They were recent ones. But uh, on Andre Carpathy and his talk at CVPR 21, if I'm remembering the initials correctly. But anyway, it's quite obvious that Tesla has really found themselves the right track, and they're actually making substantial progress in terms of the vision-only system. And Carpathy says that basically the vision-only system works better than radar because there's no sensor fusion issues, which is trying to combine radar and vision together, and that vision actually has a higher information rate than radar so right you can see <laughs> you can look behind me you can see all the pretty trees and the rocks and the sort of dry river um so it it contains a lot more information than if you shot radar out at the scene so so that's the basic scenario here and so anyway this is all all fantastically good news but uh the fact that the iihs has given tesla vision systems their top rating as well as the older tesla models is absolutely huge news hopefully the nhtsa or nitsa will come out with their ratings soon and also give tesla the same top ratings picks again nitsa has you know rated <laughs> a lot of the tesla models and i don't remember which order but they're basically the safest cars on the planet and i can't remember which order you know which one's the safest and which one's number two and which one's number three but it's all fantastic news the fact that this has gone so well and that it's happened rather relatively quickly right because i think it was only about a month ago that yeah it was late may that tesla vision cars were coming out uh without the radar systems and so there's already been a complete test and a rating done 
is really, really fantastic news. Very, very good for Tesla. Everybody should be super happy. <laughs> Give the thumbs up there. Anyway, I'm going to go back to my vacation and hopefully climb Half Dome either tomorrow or the next day. But in the meantime, I'm enjoying the lovely weather. It's a little bit cloudy today, but that's okay. Anyway, hope you all are having a wonderful week. I will be back home in about a week and will resume my normal in-house videos. But in the meantime, hopefully you're enjoying this one and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.